Hey guys, Chad with Bakos Custom Lawn Care again now. I uh, promised a review on the FS70R, the steel, and um, we're going to do it today. I got a little patch of stuff here, and then I'll, I'll go and try and find some more uh, heavier stuff if I can. But um, this is kind of my go-to trimmer. I mean, I use this um, every day, and the 91R, the 91 is pretty heavy. So this one is just uh, a little lighter to to hop out and do trimming, and it does it honestly does extremely well. So if you guys are thinking about a trimmer, you know, t to do your uh, to just go around and do your your uh, lawns with, this is a good one to do it with because it'll handle uh, pretty heavy trimming. So just the light stuff that you do day in and day out, this this trimmer works really good. Now I hear a lot about people um, having trouble with steel as far as starting in the heat and and I uh, actually kind of noticed this the other day and, and it is kind of a it is kind of a thing and and if you uh, don't choke it first just um, put it on that second little notch where it's not choking it just holds the throttle down you guys will notice that your uh, trimmers will start right up but if you choke it it's going to flood on you and then you're not going to get it started and uh, i always remove the screen too off the exhaust i mean that's up to you i mean i didn't <laughs> some of you guys remove the guard i leave mine on you know and i may change my mind i may take i may take the guard off eventually but <clears throat> it kind of seems like it keeps the rocks down a little bit so i've opted to leave my guard on so if uh I got any uh, Sheila's come on here and go, well, you got the guard on here for, well, because I want it on there. And if you don't like it, tough. <laughs> so anyway, let's get on with this video. So let me, now I have not started this yet today, so I'm going to kind of do what I just told you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to choke it. I'm just going to put it on that second notch and we'll see if it, see if it works. So, and it's hard to see. There's a lot of glare here. So hopefully... I've got this put in a spot where you guys can see, yeah, right there, I believe, what I'm going to be doing. So, okay, here's, here it, is, here it is, right here. So, right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, yep, that's what we're doing. So, you've got, you've got this, uh, I don't know if I can show it to you guys or not very well, but basically, we've got... A notch and some of these you got to hold the trigger down as well or it's not going to turn and you'll break your you'll break your thing but push it in now normally we go all the way up but i'm going to try it just on the second one and what that'll do is that'll hold the throttle on but it's not going to choke it and in this kind of heat that we've been having you don't really need to choke it as far as i can tell so let's try it <laughs> See, so it started, started right up. Let me try it again here. Okay, it's still on there. Just gotta make sure I got it on the right, right one here. So if you guys are having problems, that's probably, that's probably what it is, because. Go ahead and start trimming this little area. I'm going to bring it over here. 
it's always hard to do this while you're actually trying to do anything, so set it down here and let you guys watch this little spot. <laughs> there's kind of the sidewalk and uh, this is my sidewalk so I don't uh, you know do the edge or anything on it. I just want to trim so anyway and then I just trim the edge of that uh, raspberry bush off because it's kind of getting over there but the sidewalk's being pretty much taken over by grapes and raspberries so I don't really care I got mint growing down there as well so here's a little bit here's a little bit more of uh, this little area.
me see if I can't find any more. Most of the trimming in my yard, I just, uh, I don't have too much of it because I spray all the, I spray it all, so there isn't much to, isn't much to trim. I mean, again, I let my lawn get uh, pretty tall because kind of my, my lawn's kind of the last priority, it seems like. So anyway, if you see that it's tall, I gotta actually go over it again because it, uh, it got really tall, so. What I generally do is let it dry out, and then I'll go over it. I'll go over it again the next day. So here's here's another little spot right here. All my lawn was it was pretty overgrown but like I said I, I don't spend a lot of time on my lawn I got other people's lawns to worry about so mine's generally last on the list so and it works out good for me because I can do these do a video on this tree too because it's leaning pretty good and so I'm going to uh, put an anchor over there in the lawn I'm going to tie it over so you guys can see how to do that you know probably going to thin some of the fruit on this is a, a peach tree so it's got a lot of fruit on it not too much and so if I don't do something about it the branches will break so I'll thin the fruit out I'm going to prune it and then I'm going to tie it over so it doesn't uh, Oh, it's straight so anyway just haven't had much time with how busy we've been this year so um, that's kind of the reason for that let me go see I can't find anything else to trim like I said most everything in the lawn we I've already sprayed around all the trees so there really isn't much trimming so kind of keeps it easy easy when I do get time to do my lawn so oh yeah I got another little pear tree out here I can trim around and show you guys and an apple tree so and all these have to be pruned too so I'll probably I'll probably make one video about that because I haven't had any time to do it so. <laughs> Heat stress, so let's get some water on today. Here's my apple tree, and then we'll do a we'll do a trimming on it as well. As you guys can see, it needs to be thinned out and, and uh, pruned. So I'll make a video about that. <laughs>
Okay guys, so that's uh, pretty much it, the uh, steel F FS-70R. Uh, so, um, anyway, so there's a lot of people on here that like Echo and and like I said in other videos, that's fine. But uh, don't knock the steel because you just got to know how to, uh, you just got to know how to start it. You gotta know how it works, and you know, you know, maybe uh, maybe their carburetors are a little different than steel. But if you know how to operate a steel, all you guys on here that that's been running them your whole life, you don't have problems. You've got all these these Echo guys on there, or whatever else they run. They're like, oh well, Echo's so much better, and and uh, I don't have any problems with it. Well, that's great. Learn how to run a learn how to run one and then uh, you won't have any problems either like I said I usually take the screen out of mine and uh, when the weather changes you have to adjust for that so um, hopefully that helps you guys as far as the uh, the starting procedure on these now obviously in the fall and spring you don't have to worry about it you choke it just like normal and uh, it works fine but when it gets 100 degrees, when it gets over 90, you don't need to choke it all the way. You just need to flick it to that second setting. In fact, let me try and show you guys. I don't know if I was able to show you guys before, but here. There's a setting right here. And uh, all you're going to do is you're going to turn it. You're going to push it in. And now this would be the full, that would be the full choke right well we don't want that we want now if i pull the trigger it goes off so you just want the second one right there or the first one whatever you want to call it but you don't want to go all the way when it's 100 degrees outside because it will not start okay all right guys well so now you kind of know kind of know uh the trick with steel so all you steel bashers out there stop bashing steel because they work just fine you just got to learn how to run them so um that's pretty much it for this this review so if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if these kind of videos help you out make sure you like and subscribe and uh try to stay cool guys and i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next